Hey Leos, Mariah here. I'm going to go ahead and get into your current love life reading. Let's see what's going on. I'm so happy, blessed, and it's an honor to read for you as always. So very thankful. And for some of you, because um, I got a couple comments um, of people ask, uh, saying, you know, why I resonate with you guys so much, and that's because I'm a Leo. I'm actually not a Leo. I'm a Cancer. I'm a Cancer Leo cusp, so my birthday is July 21st. I'm right on the border, but I have zero Leo on my chart. I barely have any fire. I think I have like one Sagittarius placement, and that's it. I'm literally all water and earth. <laughs> so why I resonate with you guys so much in these readings, I have no idea. I couldn't even tell you if I had to pull it on my ass. I don't know. <laughs> okay? And, and, you know, excuse my language, of course. But I love you guys, and you guys are bomb. So spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what are, what's going on with my Leos in love? What's currently going on with my Leos in love? Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. What's going on with our Leos in love? Envy. <laughs> I'm the same as everybody with different challenges. Okay. What else is going on with my Leos in love? What else is happening with my Leos in love? Ah, I thought I had my phone on airplane mode. One second. I am so sorry, Leo. I thought I had my phone on airplane mode. We have pride and one more. What's going on with my Leos in love spirit, guys, angels, ancestors? What is happening with my Leos in love? That envy card is speaking to me in volumes. And uh, but who could not be envious of a Leo? Like really? Like what? Happiness. I am aware that being happy means I am on the right path. You know what this feels like? Uh, and I, every time I do, you guys, I get these prolific messages. Again, I don't know why. Because even though this is in regards to love, this feels like it's much greater than love. Every time I do a reading for you, it's always much greater than love. I feel like, and, what, and this is just energetically, completely energetically, um, Leo, you possess so much power. You possess so much strength. You are gorgeous. I don't care if you think you like you look like a bag of rocks or you think you look like Rihanna or Beyonce. I don't care. Whatever you possess, whatever you hold, people are envious of you, whether you know this or not and whether they admit this or not. And it's almost the energy of, how can I put this? Like it's, and this is such a effed up energy to have, but I can't help, but I can't shake this. This is somebody being upset or mad at you. And again, they probably don't even show this. You probably wouldn't even notice this at all, Leo, okay? But this is the energy of somebody being like, why is Leo so talented? Why is Leo so awesome? Why is Leo so attractive? Like almost a sense of blaming you for your own God-given gifts or your own spiritually given gifts, whatever it may be, whatever you believe in, whoever you think gave you gifts. There we go. But it's, it's the energy of somebody looking at you with envy because you're so great, you're so powerful, you're destined for so much greatness here. And it just gets under people's skin and makes their blood boil, right? And this person, whoever it may be, again, I, this is actually kind of getting off of love and it's supposed to be a love reading. But it's like this person, whoever this is, it like, it, it boils under their skin, but they would never admit this to you. Of course, their pride, you know, we're all human. We're not, you know, on the human flesh, we're not without ego or pride. You know, you will never meet a single person that way. I don't care how much a person says, I don't have ego, I don't know. The way our brain is wired, the way we are configured as humans, there's not a single person on this planet without ego and pride. And it doesn't mean that, you know, it has to be massive, but even on the lowest quantity of it, we still have ego and pride somebody here because you are so happy you radiate happiness you radiate joy you just even if you don't feel it it's just your confidence your energy your aura is just so awesome even when you're in the dumps even when you're in despair even when you're going through life ups and downs and upheavals you don't let it shake you at least not on the surface and people can't stand that people can't stand to see you happy people can't stand to see you be great 
And that's the thing. You just are. It's not like you're trying. It's not like you're trying to be something that you're not. It's not like you're trying to be, you know, have this God complex that you're better. You, you just do you. You live your life as you do. As you know, I'm a Leo. I, I get up. I brush my teeth. I go to the gym. I go to work. I come home. I cook my dinner. I spend time with my kids. If you got kids, I spend my time with my pets and go to bed. But throughout that entire routine of your day, the energy you radiate, the aura, the, the flow of love that you operate in, how charismatic you are, how people are just gravitated to you, how people just admire you, how people just want to be around you. Somebody here cannot stand that. Again, this is supposed to be on love and, and spirit will not allow me to tap into love for you right now. <laughs> and I don't know why. Again, I guess your messages are always much greater than love. You know, so I wish I could do a forward love reading, but this is much bigger than that. Because there's the need of you here, Leo, for you to make sure that you cleanse your energy. So if you sage, continue to do so. If you meditate, if you pray, continue to do so, right? But also, too, on the flip side of that, Leo, please take account, take inventory of the people that you have allowed into your space because you are so warm you are so caring you are very charismatic sometimes that attract energies that aren't deserving or they should not hold a space in your presence right these are people that look at you envy you and don't wish the best for you or hate to see you doing good especially if they're not these are people who you know, they don't deserve to be around you. But it's, it's the, again, the messed up part of it is they blame you for this when you, when you don't even do anything. And a lot of you, for the majority of you, I don't feel like they're overtly blaming you. I don't feel like they're coming out and saying, Leo, you're too great. You're too awesome. F you. <laughs> you know, why is your life amazing and mine's not? Even if you don't have an amazing life, even if it's just the fact of, you got lights on in your home and a car to drive. You got food in your fridge. You know, even if you have a standard life, it's still the fact that the space you operate in is at a such high vibrational level, even if everything is falling apart, that people can't stand. They want to see your downfall and you won't shake, crumble, bend at all. Who are you? Who is, who is in this energy? Who is in your energy right now? Stay, stay in that energy of happiness. Stay in that energy of happiness. Make their skin crawl. Make their skin burn. Not intentionally, but just by being you. Because you can't control how somebody feels about you. All you can do is control how you feel about yourself, baby. And the fact that you are just so awesome. You rule your life, your kingdom, your queendom in such high regard, such high honor in such a space of peace, prosperity, love, they can't stand it. They can't stand you. And I'm hearing for some of you, they're preying on your downfall. But you won't bake, bake. <laughs> you won't break, bend, or crack. Wow. What else do, do my videos need to know, Spirit? Banishment. They got to go. Leo, take good inventory of who you allow in your circle just because you are so warm and inviting and you are so charismatic and you really are loving at your core. You love people. You love life. You're the sun. You, you, nourish, you nourish people. I thought I say nourish. You nourish people even without trying. And there's people in your aura, in your midst, whether they're closely in your circle or they are just hovering around your perimeter, but they still see you. There is a need for you to do a process of elimination here. And this, for some of you, can be a romantic partner just because this is supposed to be a love reading, but it's turning left. <laughs> and this, this love reading has turned left. Spirit has definitely hijacked your reading for, what, the fourth time <laughs> and went completely off guard and somewhere else with this. But you definitely have to banish this because all this energy is going to do, especially the more intense this energy becomes, the more that this person can't stand to see you succeed, 
see you happy, see you being great, seeing you live life on your terms. The more that this person sees that, the more that that energy gets close to you. And the closer it gets to you, you don't want to take that on. Even if you don't know where this energy is coming from, you may start to feel a little off or starting to feel like something's not right. And that's because somebody with negative energy is either getting closer to you or is in your tight proximity where their energy is being transferred to you. Again, with energy, you can't kill energy. You can't stop energy. Energy will only transmute or transfer. So if somebody's around you with this, you know, this envious energy or this blame energy, because this can also be with blame, the energy of somebody who just complains all the time or blames things on other people and you're dealing with somebody like that, that, you know, the world is against them. And that's, and that's fucking up your happiness. That's fucking up your aura. That's messing up your energy in your space that you walk in and that you live in. People that are Debbie Downers, negative Nancy, somebody that always has something to complain about, something where for them life is always going wrong or something's not going right or, you know, why is this happening to me? Poor me, woe is me. And you're just operating out of a vibration of happiness, love and light. And what I also find very interesting here, Leo, I think the most recent video I last did for you, I talked about the color gold and we got three colors of gold here. They're different hues, but they're all colors of gold. So this is that royal energy you elude. This is that royal energy you give off, right? This is that bold, courageous, I walk into a room and I own it without saying a word. Your energy is felt before you're even seen type of energy here. And the fact that these negative energies are within this golden space lets me know that whoever this energy is, is in your aura. It, it's all it's all intertwined. Whoever this is, is in your aura. You got to clean house, sweetheart. You got to clean your space. Because I don't like seeing this gold, this, this gold, this regality here that you elude is tainted by envy, blame, and pride. And this isn't your energy here. You're in happiness. You're over here in this green space. You may be doing well financially. You may just be abundant emotionally. Um, and even if that's not the case, you know, even if you got things going on, hardships, your spirit still shines through in a, in a very positive, positively aspected position. So you're over here and whoever you're dealing with is whew, Leo Cleanhouse. <laughs> so we have initiation, banishment, dedication, alchemist. Right. I feel for you, Leo, you're working on things that you love and that you're dedicated to. Right. You're trying to create new beginnings in your life, which is possibly allowing for this happiness to come in or something that you're happy about or you're excited to get started. Or even if, you know, you may not be in that energy of creating something new, if you will, this is being dedicated to yourself. Things that you like, things that you want. Right. On a, on a personal or soul level. Right, being dedicated to your goals or your soul growth. Right, trying to initiate new things in your life or wanting to create new things in your life. And mind you, with initiation, it does say spirit here. If I can show you, it does say spirit here. So, spirits walking alongside you to create these new things, right? I just see so much new beginning and your birthday season's coming up and it's around the corner. So, of course, this is your time. This is your season. You know, do your damn thing, Leo. Yes, absolutely. You're creating so much newness and abundance in your life, or at least wanting to, or visualizing it. And if that's not the case, say if, you know, you are going through some hard times right now, Leo, which we all do. You know, you're still dedicated to yourself to get out of those hard times, right? You're dedicated to yourself because you know you deserve better. You know you want more out of life. You know you deserve more out of life than your current situation you're in. And you're trying your damnedest and you're very dedicated to getting yourself to the place you want to be, right? No matter how high, you're dedicated to it. But even within this positive energy, we have banishment. So there's something that spirit's trying to throw up the red flag towards you and say, hey, Leo, we see all this goodness you're trying to create. We see the energy you're operating in. You know, we see that, you know, for some of you, you may be going through a hard time, 
but we do understand that you know you're trying your damnedest but to really get there and go there and grow there something has to be removed something has to be banished and that's whatever whoever whether this is a relationship a specific person whether it's a friend family member colleague co-worker whoever this may be um spirit is trying to you know let you know that something's not right in your energy even if you don't feel it right now spirit feels it spirit sees it spirit senses it and spirit knows it and that's why spirit is wanting you to start taking inventory so let's look a little bit further leo spirit just really hijacked your love reading oh my god <laughs> i cannot believe spirit just hijacked your love reading like this like this is a oh my okay i'm not gonna deny any message spirit gives me we have a year from now. What else does my Leo's need to know? Spirit. No need to worry. And let's get one more. What else? Thank you. Look for a sign. Okay. Bottom of the deck is... Oh my goodness. Woo okay, let me show you these three on the bottom of the deck. Right? So... We have improving health. We also have big happy changes. And we have abundance. Right? All energies that you are operating in, right? Whether if you are, you know, getting into a workout regimen, you're wanting to improve your health in any way. And improving health doesn't necessarily have to mean in the physical health or you know, bodily health of, of any nature, this can really be improving health in regards to your life, right? You're trying to up level your life, you're trying to change your life for the better. Big happy changes are on the way, things are going to pan out and unfold in your favor. No need to worry is here. So there, if there are any worries of how you're going to get things done, if your situation will improve, if your situation will get better, there's absolutely no need to worry because you have abundance coming in with the abundance card. Things are panning out in your favor. You are and I think I did a video on this for you too. You are the chosen one, right? I mean, there's so much greatness you're destined for, Leo. I can't, I can just talk about you guys all day. Um, but there is, there's so much abundance coming in, right? And for some of you, it will take a year from now for it to fully pan out, right? To the vision of how you see it, right? So say for some of you Leos, and we'll just keep this very simple as an example. Say you really want to move into your dream home, start a family and you know be able to take a vacation twice a year right wherever you want to go between now and this time next year there are changes you're putting into effect there are you know different things that you're setting up in your life whether it's a job change or up a uh, job change or starting your own business or you know getting a promotion or it can be anything right maybe you meet somebody who may be more financially well off and they're able to assist I don't know, it can be anything, right? But what this really says is the steps and actions you are taking now, this energy, this high vibrational energy you're operating now will allow you to be where you wanna be a year from now. So over the course of this year, you will start to see things come into place. So you may, um, like from now to maybe four months, you may finally get that dream house that you're wanting. And then let's say six months, um, two months after that, you meet your romantic partner that you want to have a family with. Three months after that, now you guys are having kids. And then, you know, a month after that, you get that promotion. And then at a year time span, now you have everything you want. So everything is happening within this course of the year. You're going to start seeing your life up level in massive ways, right? But this look for a sign is here because of whatever energy that's around you is an energy that will hold you back. An energy that is hating on you, an energy that doesn't want to see you succeed or do well. This is an energy that's hoping that you don't make it, hoping, hoping that you're on their level like them, right? They want to bring you down, again, whether you know this or not. Somebody around you is on a very low vibrational level, and this is not okay because all you're trying to do is up-level your life, and somebody is jealous of the things that you're doing to do so, right? Whether this is on a personal, financial, mental, emotional level somebody is very jealous somebody is blaming you for this right why is leo's life so great and not mine right and they're not even taking accountability for their own life right they have every opportunity in their own life to up level 
But instead, let's be a Debbie Downer. Let's complain. Let's not actually put in the work like Leo's doing. And then let's look at Leo's life like, wow, how is Leo making all this happen? But my life sucks. Well, what the hell are you doing with their life? Right? Like, let's be honest. <laughs> so let's get a couple more cards here for my Leos. What's going on, my Leos? What's going on, my Leos? Spirit, what do you need my Leos to know? We have toil and labor. What else does my Leos need to know? Distant horizon. What else do my Leos need to know? Thief. Not surprised by that one. What else do my Leos need to know? Official person. What else do my Leos need to know? High honor. Two more. Let's get two more out. What else do my Leos need to know? Courtship. Main female. Bottom of the deck. Is coffin. So, Leo, whatever, whoever, whomever this energy belongs to of this envy, blame, and pride, it got to be put to rest. Even if it is somebody that you know, that you may love, that you may care about, that you're still keeping, because you guys are very loyal to a fault, even when you don't need to be, even when you know this person doesn't deserve your loyalty, you can still be loyal to a fault, right? That's kind of a characteristic trait. Um, and even if that's the case, you have to still do what's in the highest good for yourself. And it's not selfish to protect your energy, especially if the energy around you is envious of you, or they don't want to see you succeed, or they're jealous of you, or they blame you, or they're just a Debbie Downer or a nagging Nancy or a complaining Kathy. No, oh well, yeah, you can say spell Kathy with a C. But it has it has to go. It just has to go. You have to put it into it, right? It's like somebody's on a I don't want to say a lower level because I don't want to ever like degrade somebody like that. But somebody's life is, and from their perspective, it seems much harder than yours, right? Your life, when they look at it through their lenses, seems like miles away with this distant horizon. It's like they look at your life, and it, again, you may be living in a fucking shoebox, Leo, but it's your energy, your aura, your charisma, your charm. They look at themselves, and it's like, look at my life. Boring, mundane, lonely, nobody... Nobody likes me in the same way as Leo, right? Everything just comes to Leo and I have to work so hard for everything I got. Even if you work hard for everything you got, they don't look at it that way. That's the issue. They look at it with this skewed perspective. And it's like they see you as somebody who's just so far away. And I don't mean in distance, but it's like how is Leo's life like that and not mine, right? And then you got Thief. This is the kind of person, especially if you're trying to build some form of success, they will take from you and then blame you. They will become entitled, right? Well, Leo, you're my friend. You know, why can't you help me out? Or, you know, Leo, you know, I can't afford to buy food. Can you at least, you know, or why can't you do this for me? Or why can't you? They're going to start being entitled to you, especially the more successful you become, the more this person is going to feel entitled to your wealth, your riches, what you have right and also a thief this person is a thief of joy right if you're always dealing with somebody who's a negative nancy or complaining kathy you know it just it brings down your own joy and your own happiness you don't want to deal with that you definitely don't and then we have official person in high honor that's how this person sees you right and official person you don't have to be in a like official position like a judge lawyer or anything like that some of you may be um, but they just hold you in high regard. They see you in high regard, whoever this is. That's why they envy you. They see you in this high regard. And for some of you, this may be literally for like one or two. One or two of you. So keep that in mind. Some of you, this may actually be a person that you're dating or seeing or romantically with or could have been married to or is married to that they envy you. And trust me, there are 
romantic partners that are envious of their partner, right? It stems from insecurity. A lot of those, a lot of times, those relationships are very unhealthy and toxic, right? So you may be dealing with that. For the majority of you, what I feel here is that, you know, they see with courtship how people are just enamored by you. They're attracted to you. They want to talk to you. They want to get to know you. They want to take you out. They want to do this with you, do that with you, you know? And again, here they are, mundane life, sticking to what they know. Nobody's paying this person attention, raggedy clothes, just you know, doing what they can and then that's it. Not really making any changes or improvements to their life where they can have people like this that are wanting to do everything with them or spend time with them or just love being around their energy, right? Hey, Leo, like you wanna go out for coffee or like let's go out and do this or let's go for a run in the park. And this doesn't have to necessarily be romantic. This can just be platonic connections where you have people that just wanna spend time with you. And this person is alone, right? Nobody's really wanting to do that and they're looking at you with envy looking at you with envy main female here so for my leo women you're looking good smelling good your birthday season is coming up so happy early birthday you know but you're just the main character in your story and that's how it always should be right you are the main character plots you set the storylines and you're creating the life for you that you truly want it's all about you, and I don't mean that in an egotistical way. I mean, you just really care for yourself, and you want the best for yourself. Now, for my Leo males, there may be some woman that you're wanting to court, that you're wanting to get to know, that you may be interested in. And if this is like a jealous ex or anything like that, they are definitely not liking it. Definitely not liking this energy. Definitely not liking the fact that you're moving on, and that's why they're envious. That's why they're jealous. That's why they're in this energy of like blaming and this and that and pride it has to be gone it has to be gone okay leo this i again spirit hijacked reading <laughs> i'm sorry this is supposed to be love i don't know why the hell this went left like this but it is an important message because because you have so much good that's about to come in for you leo and this is just a reminder for you that you need to clear house you absolutely do need to clear house okay so, Leo, it has been an absolute pleasure. If it resonated for you, go ahead, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I love reading for you guys. And I may do another love reading and see if we can get an additional energy reading or something out of this because I don't know why Spirit hijacked it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you to pieces. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.